Well, just when you thought the Ford family story could not get any more bizarre, we have this. Today, a three-way family switcheroo in the race for mayor. Rob Ford stepping aside to take care of his health. Doug Ford, his closest confidants and uh, brother and uh, campaign manager, now running for mayor. Rob Ford now running for his old council seat and their nephew, Mike, stepping aside to allow the mayor to do this. Now this all, of course, arises from uh, Rob Ford's health problems that arose so dramatically on Wednesday when he went into hospital complaining of abdominal pain, diagnosed with a tumor, still awaiting the results uh, on what that tumor is, but said today that he felt he really couldn't carry on in the race for mayor, issuing a statement saying, now I could be facing a battle of my lifetime, and I want the people of Toronto to know that I intend to face this challenge head on and win. With the advice of my family and doctors, I know I need to focus on getting better. There's much work to be done, and I can't give it my all at this point in time. My heart is heavy, and when I tell you that I am unable to continue my campaign for re-election as your mayor, I've asked Doug to finish what we started together so that all we've accomplished isn't washed away. Now, Rob Ford had still, despite all his problems, the crack problems, the outrageous behavior, was still, in the most recent polls, running a fairly credible second in the race for mayor. John Tory, the former Ontario Conservative leader, still running in first. Olivia Chow, the former New Democrat MP and widow of Jack Layton, running in third place. Exactly how this will all play out for Doug Ford, now jumping into this race at the last minute, is unclear, but the Ford Nation, as they like to call themselves, have a pretty powerful political machine. So we'll see how that all plays out. And while it all does, we have a real human drama with Rob Ford dealing with his health problems.